know, you messed it up. <laughs> You're stupid. And today's daily dose of stupid. Uh, you you got to love this one. Um, another Chick-fil-A incident, and I am going to be taking part in Chick-fil-A at some point this week, probably, because this came out. I just... Because I've I've made a promise, and I've kept my promise, I've kept my word, that every time a liberal goes after Chick-fil-A that I was going to go and eat at Chick-fil-A. But here's the thing. I don't know that I actually have to do it this time because the person that's attacking them kind of did this for me. And if you're wondering what the heck is going on, it's actually pretty simple. So we'll go ahead and look at this. This is a post on social media from a, I guess, a gay activist. So this is the, the picture that she posted. So it's it's got a big protest sign. I'm guessing this is not her. This may may just be a generic picture she pulled off the internet. Hey, Chick-fil-A, hate is not a family value. And then underneath, little does Chick-fil-A know that they accepted gay money. So this is a some kind of gay rights advocate who went to Chick-fil-A and apparently bought lunch there because she's got a sack of, of food and a Chick-fil-A cup out in front of a Chick-fil-A. And... Gosh, I just, I love this one so much. Boy, you showed them. The way that she's going to get under Chick-fil-A's skin and really irk them is that they're taking gay money. I'm pretty sure money's not gay. I'm pretty sure money's not straight either. It's an inanimate object. I don't believe it has a sex, sex drive of any kind. But apparently her money is gay money. Does that make my money straight money? I I don't know. Maybe all my dollar bills are straight. I don't have very many of them. But uh, nonetheless, so here she is uh, <laughs> essentially suggesting that she is somehow undermined and, and really stuck it to Chick-fil-A by buying their products, which is kind of the purpose of a business. Yeah, you showed them. But <laughs> here's the, the weird thing about this. She just shot her own argument in the foot. Because the whole premise of this, and you can see by the, the graphic that she put on top that um, the assertion is that Chick-fil-A hates gay people. Well, here she is, a gay activist wearing a pride shirt. If you don't believe me, take a look at this picture again. She's wearing some kind of rainbow pro-gay shirt, I assume. So I granted, I can't read the text on there, so it, it's hard to tell because you can't see that exactly, but... Presumably somebody that is outwardly showing that they're gay and going to a Chick-fil-A and trying to pull a fast one on them by eating their food and paying them for it. Again, I don't get how that's a punishment for them, but whatever. And she does so wearing some kind of gay pride t-shirt. So the people in Chick-fil-A obviously knew that she was a gay activist and still served her. Well, that's weird. It's almost like the people at Chick-fil-A don't hate gay people and are willing to serve gay people. See, she just proved that Chick-fil-A actually is tolerant of gay people. She just shot her own argument in the foot. I love it when people do that. I love it when people, by the very fact that their argument exists, undermines their point. I think that's absolutely hysterical. But when you're looking at this, and really what it does show is it highlights one of the best things about capitalism, one of the best things about the free market. She clearly is enjoying her Chick-fil-A, or at the very least enjoying the drink that she's sipping on. She enjoys Chick-fil-A. And the people at Chick-fil-A, they do have family values. Their owners are devout Christians that have traditional views of marriage. And yet, because of the free market, this person wants a chicken sandwich. The other person wants to serve them a chicken sandwich. And so they put their differences aside to engage in a voluntary transaction where both people get something that they want. That's what a free market is. Because I think that, and I know that this is controversial and people are going to get upset at me for saying this, I think that you should be able to refuse people business for any reason. Any reason at all. You want to deny somebody business, I think that you have the right to do it. It's dumb, but you can do it if you want to. So for example, let's say that there really were a person 
that were out there that was homophobic and had a big sign out front, no gays allowed. Well, that's not only going to hurt his business from homosexuals that might want to patron his shop, it's also going to hurt his business from people that don't like the fact that this guy is unwilling to serve somebody with different views than him. And to be honest, I'm not sure that I go into that place just because, you know, homosexuals, they're people too. They're people that are caught up in sin, but who isn't caught up in sin? I'm not saying that we give it a pass. I'm not saying that we say your lifestyle is okay and you don't have to change anything. No, we teach them the truth about the gospel. But if you're talking about engaging in an open exchange, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't be able to do that. Now, it's a little different in the case of, for example, the gay bakers where you're saying, okay, I want you to specifically craft something that asserts that I am correct. I mean, that, that's a different ball of wax entirely. But the thing is, the principles of free market, the principles of capitalism, they encourage and reward people that put aside their differences of opinion to say, look, I don't agree with you on everything, but I really need my lawn mowed and I'm willing to pay you for it. Look, I don't agree with you necessarily on everything, but I would really like to have my, my bathroom redone. I mean, whatever good or service that you're involved in, that is true. How many Christians completely disagree with certain things that are supported by companies like Starbucks or Target and yet still go there because they want the product? And that's not necessarily a bad thing. And so the idea that a free market really, this is just a huge example of the way that the free market brings people closer together and encourages them to have a conversation and to work together, even if they disagree with one another on a number of issues. It's part of the beauty of capitalism. Just in case you were wondering, yes, I am a straight white Christian male and a small government constitutionalist which means I have no chance of getting any help from the government and wouldn't accept their help even if they offered. Which means I'm going to need you to like and subscribe because my gun collection is not going to pay for itself.